Okay, here we have the Oxy LED lamp L120 series. You can see from its side, there's not much thickness to it. And if you look at the front, you can see predominantly black. We've got the company logo down there, which I wasn't sure if I liked it or not, but I think it adds a little bit different to it. And then you got the, the white line on the top of the folding section. Do you have the power main cable going in the side? That I would have liked it on the back, but I assume there's some technical reasons for it being there. Uh, and if we look down, this is in standby mode, and that's illustrated by the red just there. Just in case you couldn't see it. And then Okay, so there we go. Um, simple round base, quite heavy. If you can see just the gloss outline, just down here, the whole lamp sits on this. As you can see, the swivels and swivel it from the top. Because the cable's there, it does get in the way of it, but that's its full extent that way and that way as well. And if we just have a look at the these settings here, so so this little touch screen, you've got two buttons here, two buttons here. Um, there's five different temperatures of light or colour, as you will, kind of coffee, the orangey yellow colours here, and then you've got the book writing here this is a clear cool white crisp light and five different light intensities uh, brightness there and if we just open up the lamp to there firstly to a 90 degree angle as like so um, it stays quite well put can put a remote on there. Okay, there's a slight bit of movement, but that's quite a weight and it still stays there. So, obviously, without <laughs> the need for a sky remote, it will stay put. Now, if we turn it on, and it does have a memory function, so whatever it was on last time is what it has. So, you press standby mode. Let's go to the white, cool, crisp light, and that's the full brightness just there. And if I turn the lights off in the room, we can get a feel for its intensity. Okay, yeah, I shut the curtains as well. Okay, so all that light. It's from that, and if I just change in the brightness, so that is a, a dim one, dim right there, as you can see from that bit. And one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And if we change, look at the colours, so one hit. Progressively getting more yellowy orange, or and then it's back again, and then back again. There, it's got on the white crisp. So, there we go, there's a lot of functions there. And then, um, if we just look at its swivel, so from this point, you can fold down. It can fold all the way up like that. So if we just look here, come back down, turn the light down to a dim like that. So we can see it swivels to that extent and right there. So that's about 270 degrees of like that. If we look at the 
on the dimmest setting we can see it's pure this is it's seamless a seamless white light so it evenly diffuses in the environment which is obviously what it's one of its main features uh, a criticism I would have so if we turn that on to full brightness we close that up as you can see there's still a light coming through so I would have thought this would automatically shut off so I consider that that's not a great thing in my mind. Additionally, there is a USB charging port. As you can see, USB simply fits in there. The phone is charging up from that, which I think is a really good thing. Obviously, wires coming out of the bottom now do take away from its elegance. Uh, it adds the extra functionality to it. Um, so my only real criticisms are uh, you've got this power mains on the side. And then the fact it doesn't automatically shut off when you close it. As so.